Madam, Madam Keller, two minutes. Thank you very much. Anti-Semitism, Islamophobia and racism are new, no new phenomena in Europe and indeed they're an internal problem, nothing that has been brought to us from the outside. It is a problem that we have to deal with inside the European Union. And sadly, those attacks on people, they are on the rise. Jews are being attacked and even schools cannot operate without police or even army protection. And certainly this sort of protection is nothing that generates a feeling of security among people, quite the opposite. It shows how much insecurity there is. And we see in Europe that parties are being founded on the basis of Islamophobia and of racism. And it is, it is appalling to see that parties and politicians are able to gain votes with those ideas. And it is equally appalling to see that there are those politicians who are trying to do exactly that. I believe we all have to stand together against anti-Semitism, against Islamophobia, against racism, against xenophobia, and we have to do so very clearly, prepare to do so at every moment in order not to accept any form of mistreatment of humans. And I think therefore it is important that we're not le legitimizing the arguments from the extreme right, that we're not giving them any space to maneuver. Because in Europe, we have a lot of space for different religions. We have a lot of space for people from different origins. Europe is built on the idea that we live together, that we progress together, that we're all working together for human rights, for peace and for understanding. Europe does not have space for anti-Semitism, Islamophobia or racism, but we all need to make sure that it stays that way. Thank you. Mr. Carver, one minute. Thank you, Madam President. As a grandson of a Polish Jew who fled his hometown of Oswiecim, latterly infamously known as Auschwitz, at the beginning of the last century, I say that the time has come to face up to the reality of anti-Semitism today. With Western European Jews being shot in schools, museums and places of worship, 